All right, guys, this week I'm going to talk to you about the dreaded pull hook. I'm going to teach you why you do it, and I'm going to set you up to be able to fix this issue once and for all. So the pull hook is just the golf ball that starts left for the right-handed player and snaps off the face of the earth. Now, this is the golf ball that ends up in a lot of backyards and leads to a lot of huge scores. So we're going to account for what's happening. We're going to teach you how to be able to figure out what the issue is in your specific swing, and then we're gonna set yourself up for the success. All right, guys, if you could do me a huge favor, please like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. We're building a great community here, and you are what sets it apart. All right, so when we're dealing with the pull hook, we have to understand why the golf ball is doing what it's doing. The reason the ball snaps left is because the club face is closed in terms of the path. It is oriented to the left for a right-handed golfer. Now, anytime that happens, that's going to put hook curvature on it. If you have a good path, that will all match up to put you in a good position. If the path is struggling, that's going to put you into a really bad position. Also, if it is really shut to the path, that can create the pull hook where the ball starts left and hooks off the face of the earth. So understanding that the reason it's happening is because that club face is too close to whatever path the club face is traveling is what's causing that hook. Now, if we can understand that, we have to look at different variables that cause the issue. So first, we're going to address the path issue. We're going to look at some of the reasons that you see players getting that path cutting across. Now, remember, this could be happening with a neutral path, but in this scenario, we're going to look at the left path. If I'm a player and I get in here and I start down and I leave my lead side down too long, that throws the path out in transition. That's one of the major issues that we could have, okay? If I get up here and I go around too level, that throws the path too far outside. I can also get into a position where I struggle with the path because my arm relationship with my body isn't very good. I can sit here and have a good turn down, but if my arms pull away from my body, now they're definitely crossing up. Those are three of the major factors that go into creating the right to left miss. So we have to understand who we are. If I'm a player and I go up, I wanna feel as though my right shoulder is turning down to parallel here and then working down to the golf ball while my lead side works up and back. If I'm seeing that happen and I'm still cutting across the golf ball, I can look at my arms. Are they far away from my body? Okay, now I've established my issue. If I get in here and I look and I'm standing really tall and my hands work out and then try and cut across late, then I know I have to go and approach my posture to fix my issues. Now, if I get in here and I start leaning down with that lead side too long and I see this tilt here, I now know what's causing my issue with my path. An outlying issue that falls in that same thing and can cause the path to get really across is actually trying to square a wide open club face. Now, I notice players that get up here go up wide open, instead of returning back to this position, they have a compensation. I can get up here and I could throw my arm angles like that. Now that face is square, but guess what? My path has gone out and now we'll be cutting across unless I have some really weird offsetting tilt to try and save it. So leaving the face open can actually be the reason for your massive pull hook. Now, if you're a player who gets in here and you have that good path, but you really struggle with getting that face too close, we can start looking for things. Now, if we have an understanding that in the downswing, when we get bound to club parallel here, we want this club face to just be matching the spine angle if I have good posture. If it gets too shut, then even if it's a good path, that's gonna lead to the snap hook, unless I'm doing something like raising up to try and square it that can be a major factor for it. Now those are some goofy looking hooks, but it's something that you really wanna look for. If you see the low snapper, that could be the reason that you're doing it. So there's several reasons that we get into having issues with the pull hook. Face to path relationships, bad path, just a bad face, or we're trying to square up our massively open club face. If you as a player can identify and see which is causing those issues for you, we can now fix it. Now, this Tuesday, 
I'm going to release the Just the Drills video that works entirely on this one subject. Right? We will fix that snap hook once and for all. So if it's an issue you struggle with, I hope you tune in, and I hope to see you next week for another one of these videos. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.